Hey everybody, it's Third Mario Brother, and I think I just sounded like Chugga Conroy right there, and that's not a good thing because I don't want to be called out for um, copying him. Anyway, hold what? And there's a secret block right there in which there is a super shroom. Any others? No. Let's go ahead and hold what through the duration of a lot of this because I know there are going to be secret blocks, and going across this bridge. Blooper! What? Okay, we get a little blooper guy yes this is a mini boss fight with the blooper what a creative name that he didn't totally just say five seconds ago um yes and i can't believe i didn't go to the toad house after beating that anti guy and yes um here we'll show these bloopers this bloopers attacks in a minute that one's not too bad to guard against and it has I'm actually not sure how much power it has right now. You'll see on the screen. I think that was his main attack, so. Anyway, Electro Dash. And he has 10 HP left. If you get to him. Ooh. Yeah, he also has that ink attack, which um does, I think, a little bit more damage. I'm not positive a thing might come up on the screen right now telling you what does what. But anyway, if you come to him early in the game then he might be a little bit difficult, but right now, really, really easy enemy. <laughs> anyway, blooper, nah, nah, nah. we get the Shrink Stomp badge. If it works, the enemy shrinks and decreases their attack power. That's actually a pretty useful badge right there, which is why I love leveling up BP, because mostly you're going to be wanting to equip almost every badge you get. Really, it's that. There are a lot of good badges in this game. <laughs> anyway, coming uh wait. Yes, coming over here. This is the second place you're going to go to. Blooper! Yes, we get another enemy or another mini boss. This is the Electro Blooper and he has a little bit more attack power and a little bit more HP than the last one and he has one more ability. Holy crap, 12 damage. This is going to go by quickly. I recommend switching to bow for this fight because of a reason you'll see in a moment. All right, so three, I think that, eh, that, yeah, he has quite a bit of power through my damage dodge and defend plus. He um hit that hit a one, which is quite powerful for his normal attack. Anyway, go ahead and smack him with bow, and here is the reason why you want bow on your. Um, team for this fight. You're going to want to use out of sight when he does that because obviously he's charging an attack and it's going to hit a lot. So go ahead and use out of sight. Also when he's like that you can't attack him with Mario unless you have a badge that will um, allow you to attack electrified enemies which for some reason I don't have yet. Anyway what can we do here? I'm just gonna go ahead and use Star Storm because I'm a noob. Come on. Is that Scholar or Scholar? I always called him Scholar because it looks like that'd be it. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad at grammar and everything in general. Anyway, there's that attack. And apparently that has four power. And I couldn't guard against it because I wasn't paying attention. I was busy scratching my knee. Anyway, go ahead and smack him, Bo. Uh, sorry if this fight's being really boring and obnoxious, but this enemy is just boring and obnoxious in general, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use Star Storm. If you guys are wondering what a shooting star does as an item, it's basically the same thing as Star Storm, except it does 6 damage instead of 7. So, yeah. Anyway, la and down from the heavens descended Skolar Norris. All right, there goes the Electro Blooper again. If you go to this point in the game when you were supposed to, this fight can actually be somewhat challenging, but not for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and level up if FP because my FP is the lowest of my stats, and it really should be be higher. Switch to Watt. Go ahead and hit the switch, and we get three pipes, which are leading to 
number one, the dry dry outpost. Actually, while we're here, there's something we're gonna want to do. Remember when we went and talked to Merlon, and he proved me right about there's something being the <laughs> the this red tree being special. Let's go ahead and run around it. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You you believe some crazy dream? Well, okay, I guess. I mean, you got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said, It was a house with a whirling roof and a large town near a castle. If you spin jump three times inside the house, something good should happen to you. Ha ha ha. House with a whirling roof. As if that existed. Ha! I don't take dreams seriously. Obviously, Mr. Pessimist, you're like the... One with the, the star spirit with the small mustache. And sorry if you guys can hear that, my neighbor's mowing the lawn. Anyway, we have to go spin jump inside a house with a whirling roof, which we will be doing later after we check out all these pipes. This one leads to Koopa Village. And this final one leads to Goomba Village. So, we get three quick warps to three key places. Really cool. Alright. Let's keep going through here. Hit the block. Wait, I was going to check that last room, see if there are any hidden items in here. La la la. Apparently not. Apparently, <laughs> I'm sad though, you can't spin dash with Watt, and I can't be 100% fast. Oh well, anyway, we get a snowman doll there. <laughs> come up here, we get a little bit of a platform aspect, and through here, through this pipe, we get more sewer, yay. More sewage. Now, you're gonna want to wait until those spike gloombas go past, or else you're not gonna, like, make it. You're gonna have to fight those guys. Anyway. Come up here, and I was watching a Paper Mario 2 LP earlier, so I was almost looking for my Yoshi right there. Whatever, and I talk about that game too much. Anyway, over here we get a Star Piece, which is really cool. Um, holy crap. That came out of nowhere. And I guarded against it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Star Storm these guys. They're par- uh, Paragloombas, they're exactly like Gloombas, but with wings. You guys don't need to see this fight, really. And I don't want to run away, because I already wasted enough money buying items for that anti-guy fight that I didn't need. Um, anyway. Do -do 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 I actually kind of like that jingle. Um, coming over here... We get to... Jump on a spike... Gloomba. Okay, screw it. I'm running away. I don't even care anymore. And I was really bad at pressing A that time. Um, anyway, yeah. So, there's also a door right here, and we can get past these guys and jump on this spring and get this treasure chest and we get the power smash badge hammers an enemy using lots of attack power i like this badge it's like power jump but for the hammer hammer um it's one of the first badges i think you get in paper mario 2 i'm not sure but i remember using it a lot in that game which leads me to believe it was one of the first ones you got there anyway as you can tell the toad town tunnels are really big they sprawl a really big area and we cannot go through here yet, and there's a super block up there. So we're gonna have to remember to come back here later. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Hmm. Alright, lots of backtracking. Well, not lots of backtracking, I guess. It's not that bad, because we're not exploring every little, like, pipe we see and looking for items. Anyway, one more route to go from the beginning here. Go ahead and ground pound the ground. Over there, there's something, but we can't get there quite yet. Because if a piece of paper touches the water, it explodes. Okay, somehow I glitched the game there and got a spin jump for a strike on that guy. Anyway, you see that coop? Dark coop. These are dark coopies. You see that one in the back who's running like that? He's go. I recommend the feeling fine badge for this room because... Next turn, he's going to do a spin attack that will make us dizzy, so... Whatever. 
I really don't care. I actually kind of want to show the attack just to be complete. All right. I'm going to try to guard against this. Try to sh- oh. That's really hard to time against. You have no idea really what to- Or when to- Guard against that. You really have no signs as to when he's going to attack. Anyway, yeah. So, um, there's three groups of Dark Koopas that you have to take out in this room. Uh, one of them has four enemies in it, so switch to Cooper and Starstorm, then Power Shell. But, I think this is all we're gonna do for this episode, okay guys? And in the next episode, I'll end off in this room, with this room being clear and the doors being open. So, we'll explore the Toad Town Tunnels a little bit more in the next episode, and do some other stuff too. See you later.